What's up, y'all? This is Rom coming back at you with yet another car video. Let me turn this joint on. Get my glasses on, my seatbelt on. Well, let me get my seatbelt on so you don't hear that beep beep in the background. But my thoughts on this whole soft guy era thing. My thoughts on it. Now, this is not something I will usually cover, but uh, Master Yao, and I've mentioned him several times, reached out to me. What are my thoughts on it? What in my video? Now, y'all know 99.9% .9 of the time somebody requests a video on something, I ain't doing it. But Master Yao's been putting money in my pocket since the late 90s. And he taught me a lot of stuff that in turn has made me money. A lot of the knowledge, the deeper knowledge I got, I got from him. So not everything, not everything, of course, but a whole lot, the deeper aspects. So I said, you know, if he requests something. Yeah, I can do it. So don't don't get on here and try to request some. Hey, Rob, can you do this? No, I don't know you. I don't know you. I don't know you. How much money have you put in my pocket? I mean, serious money. We're talking five figures. So I don't know you. But you know, Master Yao. I said, let me let me talk about that. Funny thing is, I was going to probably address it uh, anyway on my own. So no matter what. I don't know that motherfucker. Yeah. Probably somebody seen me around. Anyway, right? So anyway, right? Soft. Let me be clear. Let me be clear before I get into anything. Whether parody or taken seriously, I can't say I support it. And the reason why is, what do I talk about? I talk about being a sovereign man. I talk about having control and only dealing with women who are an asset to you. So for me, a man got to have something going on. He got to have his own shit. And then the women he deal with, they have to be an asset to him, not a liability. They got to be in cooperation to his operation, in submission to his mission. Basically, they got to help. See, basically with me, women got to bring something to the table. Ain't no ifs, ands, and buts. They got to bring something. They got to bring something. But, you know, you got this soft guy, this soft guy thing. Now, from what I see, now, from what I seen, you know, for the most part, it was just a parody from men on, you know, how some of these women be out here talking about, yeah, you know, you got to pay for everything. You got to provide. And then when you ask, the, the women actually get upset if you say, well, what you bringing to the table? Now, I've seen some videos like that. And some punk-ass men supporting that bullshit. Look, if you're going into a relationship, you got to bring something. You got to bring something. You're talking about the other person. You can't just sit there and ride off that person. And I've seen a lot of women, you know, they don't feel like they got to do anything. Be one a man making a half a million, but you say to them, well, you ask them and you say, well, what are you, what are you bringing? See, if you a woman, I'm making half a million. Now, I don't have no problem saying I'm making six figures now. If a woman come up, I got to feel like just being with her is going to help in some way. She got to do something. She got to do something. And she don't have to bring money, but she got to do something. Like, if you even in my circle, I got to feel like, hey. You know, any women, you got to bring something, even if it's just a perspective on some shit. You know, you got to tell me how you can help me out because I don't need you otherwise. But I don't need you to make money. And any man making money, shit, he's making that on his own. So the woman got to bring something. She can't be some liability. He making half a million. What the fuck she going to bring? A little bit of money? She got to bring something. And if she try to say sex, because I've had some women, they would say... Hey, you know, they got the golden pussy. Yeah, let me get the cat facts on that shit. <laughs> let me get the cat facts. Show me the man who made a million dollars because you gave his ass some pussy. <laughs> show, show, hey, show me your past men. I don't give a fuck about your account. Just show me, just show me some man who somehow your pussy made him a million dollars. Now I got that attitude. You got to bring something. You got to bring something. But, you know, you got a bunch of women out here. They don't want to bring anything and get mad when a man ask. So one thing I saw a lot of those uh, more like a parody, a lot of guys saying, well, shit, I don't have to do anything. What you bring? What you bring? 
And a lot of people took it as a parody, but from some other stuff I've seen, there's some women who didn't take it as, they got mad. You got some women, you know, they want to be strong, independent, girl bosses, all of that, but then still want a traditional man. No, it don't work like that, honey. It don't work like that. And don't get mad, first of all, recognize a parody anyway. Have enough common sense to recognize a parody, but apparently a lot of women mad. Now, I don't know how many men are taking that shit seriously. Outside guys who are like low-key gigolos anyway. You know, you got some guy, hey, you got some guys, hey, they kept men, they low-key gigolos. Shit, really, you can call them pimps. If a man got a woman going out working for him and bringing some money, he still might be controlling to his dick. But that's, that's more advanced game. We're not going to get into that. But, you know, so... I would say this, the whole concept, if it's taken seriously, I can't take it seriously because as a sovereign man, you're supposed to have your own shit anyway. But I understand the circumstances why it's become such a big idea. Because a lot of it's really just against the women who are throwing that out. So, in, so instead of saying sprinkle, sprinkle, the guys are saying drizzle, drizzle. So you know that. Now, the woman who's known for talking about that sprinkle, sprinkle, I actually don't have nothing against her. She's actually supportive of me, so I'm funny like that. I don't go against people who show some support, even if I don't agree with everything they say. But I don't agree with that concept, you know, because you got a bunch of women out there. They want, you know, they want to just sit back. They don't want to do anything. And the guys are like, oh, fuck that. So guys are hitting back. So even though it's been done in parodies, understand some about parodies and comedy in general. They really hit some serious stuff. If you listen to, especially like some of those old school comedians or probably comedians now, they just see regular shit and they make fun of it, but it's a bigger thing behind it. And a lot of guys are being, they like, well, shit, this woman only, this woman only sees me a certain way only sees me as a resource or something. Whereas, you know, he got to bring this money and all this. Okay, what's she bringing? Now, I'm definitely against a woman that bringing shit. I told a woman one time, I say, shit, how many daughters I got? She got mad at me, blocked me, because she's trying to get some money out of me. I was like, how many daughters I got? This woman hadn't done shit for me. Well, I'm supposed to spend some of my money. Oh, hell to the no. And like I said, I don't have a problem. I don't have a problem taking a woman out, being supportive and all of that. I just say, don't leave with your wallet. And if she earns your money or earns you doing something for her, ain't nothing wrong with that. Ain't nothing wrong with that. But even then, a man shouldn't be in a position where he has to depend on a woman for anything. Every man should work on it. Now, I understand because, hey, hey, look, I've been in that position before. The woman making some money and all that shit. But I ain't stay in that position. I've been there before. I understand. But as a man, you don't want to be that man who's totally dependent on a woman. You don't, wanna, you don't want that because you get some women. You actually do get some women that try to control a man with their money, with their financial position. They'll get a broke dude for that reason. But, you know, I promote being a sovereign man. And as a sovereign man, you got to have your shit together. As a sovereign man, you got to have your shit. Now, I ain't talking about if you're trying to be some player and you just trying to get, you know, milk that woman for her money. That's on some different level shit. That's on some different level shit. I'm just talking about ordinarily because you got you got a movement of women. Well, they saying the guy got to have this, guy got to have that. He's supposed to pay. Like when I was kind of looking at it after Master Yard sent me that text, I kind of looked at it. One of the videos I saw was this man was expected to pay for some big dinner. This woman brought like 18 of her girlfriends. I'd have been like, hell to the no. I ain't paying for y'all. Because you know what I would have said? I say one, I only got one woman here. Two, ain't, ain't one of y'all sucking my motherfucking dick. And I was said it just like that. Shit. And if they got mad, I said that. I say, nah, y'all better pay. 
you all better pray. Shit. Because really, it really, you talk about the parody part of it, but it's going to get some women out here. It's going to get some women out here that think they're going to bring some. And I've told women this. I've told women this. Every woman, you got to bring something to that man. What you bringing to that man? Shit, he can get pussy any place. What you bringing? What, what you bringing? Or if you saying just pussy, well, can, is your pussy enough that he go fired up and do some shit? And there's some women out there like that. But most women ain't like that, though. So can that woman bring him some? What's she bringing? Is she bringing some perspective, knowledge? Is is she an asset? When he, you know, when he going among like some, you know, rich and powerful people, can she walk beside him and make an impression that can help him in business? And notice I say help. Notice I say help. Because sometimes you get some women, they feel like they made a man. And then it's like, nah. If you follow my uh, philosophy of sovereignty, you making yourself. You know, you gonna make your six figures and seven figures, whether the woman there or not. What can she do to enhance that? What's she doing to enhance your life? And that's what you gotta ask yourself. But yeah, that soft guy everything. Yeah, like I said, most of the videos I've seen from men so far. They just parody in there. I can understand that. But there's some women getting mad. I'm like, what you getting mad for, baby? This is really just on how you sound. Really, what it needs to do is like form a, a start a real conversation. Because sometimes that's how you got to get people. You got to throw what they throwing at you back at them. See, it needs to start a real conversation. It's like, look, hold up, baby. Hold up. You can't just expect this man to come and just take care of you. And you you saying, well, I'm the table. It's like, how you the table? Say, baby girl, look, I already, I already make my six, seven figures without you. You coming into my life. I did all the hard work to get to where I am. So what are you doing to enhance this? What are you doing? What you got with you? And if you can't name it, well, I can't. First of all, if I had to even ask you, that, that's a problem right there. No, let me throw that shit out there. Let me throw that shit out there. If that man have to ask a woman what she bringing, she ain't bringing shit. If he can't look at her and talk with her and see, oh, okay, she bringing something. If he even had to ask, that's already a problem right there. That's already a problem. If he can't look at, if he can't just look at her and say, you know what? She ain't bringing this or this. And if she tried to get smart, say, well, you should be able to see it. Well, apparently he can. If he can't, that means you don't bring shit. You know, how you enhancing? Because you got a lot of guys out there. That's what they really looking for, a woman to enhance. And even if you say, well, like, say he want to leave a legacy. Oh, okay. Are you going to be a good mother? You know, seriously. Because trust me, and here's something that's not known. Once a man reaches a certain stage of maturity, he can look right at a woman. She don't have to say shit. He can look right at her and know what she's going to bring. So if he even had to ask what she bring to the table, she don't got shit. You know? So yeah, this <laughs> soft guy thing. Shit funny to me, but like I said, that's why I ain't really saying anything at first. I was like, I ain't take it seriously, but apparently a lot of women did. <laughs> a lot of women did, but shit, that's how you say I'm, baby girl. It's just how you say it. Because when you talk about a, uh, a couple, it can't be one-sided. You can't, you know, y'all got to support each other. Y'all become, y'all want a ship. A relationship is a ship. Are you willing to let him be captain without arguing? Hey, that's a ship. You know? Shoot, Joe willing to go in a direction? You willing, hey, you willing to help him build? Maybe he's not at that point where he got the money. Are you going to help him build? You know? If you're talking about children, you going to be a good mother? You know? Or and if you want those women talking about your girl boss or, you know, any of that, independent, okay, respect that. But you can't have two bosses. So, you know, if that man do something, he, can, he might could do business with you. You can't do anything else. You got to respect that shit. You got to respect that shit. You know? 
So, I mean, that's one of the things I see with the movement. Like I said, on a personal level, I don't agree with the idea, the serious idea of a man uh, letting a woman uh, take care of him like that. Every man, every single man should uh, really work to have his own shit. Because, first of all, he need to have his own shit in case the woman want to move on. Like, as a sovereign man, you want to have control, as much control as possible. If you bring a woman in, well, like I said, she needs to be in cooperation to your operation. In submission to your mission. You know? And you can do all the responsible stuff. If she helping you, shit, you'll take care of her. But she still got to she still got to bring something. You know? She can't just be some woman who just going to use your shit. Because you got some women got that attitude. Thinking they should just get a man, get his money and all that shit. For what? Nah, baby girl. Uh-uh. You don't have a cape hanging out your pussy. You know? Do you have, like, some knowledge or something? Can you stimulate his mind? That's what you got to bring. If he, and like I said, if he got to question that shit, the woman don't have it. If he got to question it. If he can't look at that woman and have a conversation, just one conversation with her and see what she brings, see what she about, then that woman don't have it. it ain't being mean or anything. You know? And, you know, like I said, hopefully this this whole hoo-ha over the soft guy here could have can uh, yield some like serious conversations. Cause you do have too many women out here. They either like talking about how independent they are, but still want a husband or they want some man to take care of them. But baby girl, you gotta bring something, you gotta, it ain't one sided. It ain't one sided. A relationship is two people. So, what, what is his concerns? What does he want? And plus, if you even talk about the money thing, shit, it, it ain't. <laughs> Nobody's going to make it at a minimum six figures. At a minimum six figures. And it's not a whole lot of men making that. You see different numbers and everything, but it's not a whole lot. Ultimate number might be 10%. You know? If you're talking about real money, which means most women going to end up getting with a guy who he might be able to pay some, but she got to bring some. You know? She got to bring, even if she being a traditional housewife. Traditional women, shit, they do their own jobs around the house. You want to keep your shit clean? You know? You want to make sure he eating right? He's well. If you have children, you're going to be a good mother. You got to think about all that. You know? And that needs to be, that really does the, the oh, damn, dude, I see you. Those three wheeler joints, I like those. I might get one for fun. Anyway, that's the thing, though. What, she, what is she doing? Because a relationship is two people. And I, I, I agree with the whole, well, like I said, I don't agree with the whole concept of letting a woman take care of you. But I agree that this is starting a conversation. This is starting a conversation. Because that's how women sound when they say, oh, you got to do all this shit. But then when a man say, but what are you doing? It's like nothing. It's like, <laughs> and the irony is, you got men who want to do that. You got men who want to pay everything. They want to be that total provider. They want to be like that protector. They want to, to do all of that. They feel good doing all of that. But you got too many. Um, you know, well, one, a lot of women don't even want those guys. <laughs> That's a problem. That's a whole other conversation. But you got to, it, it can't be, it, a man can't feel like he's just uh, some woman serving or some shit like that. Well, she don't really care about him. She's looking at the money. It can't be some sprinkle, sprinkle bullshit. She got to have some. So... Yeah, that thing. Like I said, serious conversation. If it if it if it creates a serious conversation, a serious dialogue, 
I'm all for it. Like I say, the personal aspects of it, I'm not for it. Like, it's, it's, there's some guys seriously saying, well, you know, we just want those money when we want to be taken care of. That goes against my sovereign man philosophy. So I can't support that. But if it creates the conversation necessary to create stronger relationships, that's, it's like I'm looking more at the outcome, that, that uh, soft guy sentiment itself, but more the outcome. And I would just say both sides, even even though it's being parody, like I said, even though it's being parody and everything, just that is a conversation that all needs to be like really looked at, you know? It's talked about it all. It needs to be looked at. And it needs to be taken seriously on that on that account. So yeah. So anyway, that's all I got for now, y'all. That's all I got for now. So, those are my thoughts on the whole soft guy thing, you know. Those are my thoughts. If somebody don't like them, who cares? If somebody like them, well, thank you. But, you know, just to reiterate at the end again, you know, I understand and I respect what, you know, they're trying to do and everything, but, you know, I'm all about the sovereign man thing. And sovereign man means you control your life as a man. You take control. So you can't be on no soft guy shit. But if it's getting the women to talk and everything, I'm all for it. I'm all for it. If it get a real conversation going. All right. And yeah, there's some there's some women especially, maybe a few men mad. I'm like, don't get mad. Like I said, that's not really some... Uh, I'm personally uh, into, but I ain't mad at the guys. I understand perfectly. So that's the thing. All right. So anyway, I'll get back with y'all. Peace and blessings.